Good morning, America. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Dix. I didn't know if you were still trying to get ready or something. I'm about as ready as ever be. Well, we really appreciate you being here. Thank you very much. My pleasure, Cassandra. We, uh, we've enjoyed Omaha tremendously, and the people, Corazon Grande. <laughs> Big well, hearts. <laughs> and you have a wide range of uh, genres from space to westerns to. Is there one that you preferred more? Well, it's a tough question because through the years I've had favorites and they pretty much stay the same. One of the first westerns I ever made was with uh, Barbara Stanwyck. It was called 40 Guns. And. Uh, it still holds up well, just like Forbidden Planet does as, as a science fiction movie. And it uh, still runs on television once in a while, or people can go to Amazon.com and get 40 guns. So as a Western, it's still one of my favorites, though I did quite a few for 20th Century Fox, a Lone Texan, uh, and uh, 13 Fighting Men. That was a Civil War story. Uh, one of my f favorites was... a. A good movie with a bad title. By that I mean it was not a marketable title. It was Little Shepherd of Kingdom Come was the name of the movie, which does not indicate an action Civil War movie at all. It uh, was Jimmy Rogers, you know, Honeycomb, Jimmy. Uh, yeah, country of your smile. <laughs> And, uh, I will definitely have to look that one up. I wasn't familiar with that particular one. Yeah, I uh, I played three parts in one, really. I was a mountain man, and I was also a preacher in this small town. And then later in the movie, I was a, a, a lieutenant in the U Union Army. Uh, and some good action sequences. And So uh, I really enjoyed it because I had a chance to play the three-in-one part. You know, and... Uh, so, uh, but the actor's life, uh, for me anyway, I was essentially a character actor. I mean, I did cowboys, I did Indians, I did soldiers of all kinds, Union, Confederate, uh, U.S. Army, made a movie called Screaming Eagles, which was first, the first, 101st Airborne. And uh, so, uh, I'm really... Uh, I'm really happy that I had the opportunity to play the many different types of characters. Whereas, if you're doing a straight leading man part, you're pretty much on the same beam on everything you do. So, uh, I enjoy being a character actor. Oh, and I got a job, believe it or not. At eight, 80 years old, a guy called me, a producer from New York, independent company. A movie called The Last Frankenstein. And I played Dr. Roger Frankenstein. Yeah, and, uh, and I have a, a son and a grandson in the story, and I'm the grandfather. And one of the lines that I've been studying the script before I came to Omaha, you know, it was, uh, well, you know, your uncle's used uh, diseased brains, and uh, that's why their creatures were used for uh, as weapons of abuse, and that's why they're all dead. <laughs> I like it. I can't wait to see it. I will definitely be looking forward to that. The producer said it's a spring 2016 release, so we'll see. Well, we look forward to that, and then hopefully this is you're going to have many more calls from that as well. Well, I hope so. I'm lucky at 80 years old to be still getting called. <laughs> well, that's because you don't look 80 to me. Well, thank you. I'm young at heart. But, <laughs> a, a little, a little worse for wear because of horsing around with horses. But <laughs> so, do you have a favorite uh, movie of your father's that he's done? Well, it, uh, yes, I do. Uh, the one most people, when they look at his total career, was the Academy Award winner. It was, it was called Cimarron in 1931. Won it as a movie. My father didn't, make, he was nominated, but Barrymore Sr. beat him out. Uh, 
but Man of Conquest, it's a story of General Sam Houston, and my dad played General Sam. And it's a world premiere in Houston, Texas in 1939, but it's, it's still around, and it's a terrific, epic movie. And I enjoyed his performance, mainly because it's, it was all true about General Sam Houston. It, was, it wasn't a contrived fantasy out of somebody or some writer's mind, you know. Yeah, they do that a lot in Hollywood. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, anyway, it's been wonderful meeting you, Cassandra, and everybody here. I've been well, we hope to see welcome. you again sometime. Thank you so much for coming. We really appreciate it. Yeah, you're more well, my pleasure. I hope to see you again. I hope to see you too. Thank you so much. Thank you.